Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an owl costume or a Hedwig costume. My daughter requested to be Hedwig this year and so I made this costume. Um, this is just a big cape. It's like a full circle cape that I added all of this feather trim to really give it like a bird or a wing look. Um, she's going to be wearing a white dress, white tights, white shoes underneath. You know, you can wear any white outfit underneath. Um, this is great because where we live, trick-or-treating gets kind of cold. So this is an easy way to, the like the cape will keep her warm and if she needs to wear extra layers underneath, it won't make a big difference for her costume. I also made this cute little owl head hat um, my children are not allowed to wear masks when they wear their costumes to school. Um, she really wanted to have an owl mask that went around her eyes, but um, I wanted to make something that would work well for school since they do get to wear their costumes to school. So we made this cute little hat instead. These are little like faux fur pom-poms. I think they turned out so cute. I love the little face. I think that the feathers just make it so fun. There are also some loops right here at the front so she can grab that with her hand and she can flap her arms to make it look like she's flying. Um, I did a tie for the front so that the cape is a little bit adjustable for whoever is going to be wearing it. This is a pretty easy costume. It is a little bit time consuming because you have to sew each like layer of the feathers on. So it wasn't that hard, it just took me a long time. The hat is pretty quick, but it is nice that the majority of this costume is just a cape and a hat. It makes it really versatile and you can, you know, it's easy for different situations that my kid is going to wear the costume. I can't wait to show you how to make a DIY Hedwig costume. So let's get started. There is a lot of different pieces that I use for this project. Um, so you can eliminate any of the ones that you don't want to use. Um, you can find the free cloak pattern on my website. I've cut out the size I'm making for my daughter. Um, I'm going to, the cape is going to be made out of white sweatshirt fleece. And then I'm going to be adding all of these feather trims on top. These are just boas that I'm going to do around the edge. Um, this is ostrich feathers and this is like duck and goose feathers. They're each two yards and I have two of each. Um, I also have some gray um, double fold bias binding that I'm going to use around the neckline right here and it will be the tie to keep the cape on. Um, I'm also going to be making a hat um, with the owl face on it. So I'm going to use this fabric. I'll have some extra. Then I'm going to use some white fur to do like tiny little pom-pom ears. And then um, I'm using this um, felt for the beak and the eyes. Um, the outfit that she's wearing underneath is like a white dress. It has like a poofy skirt, white shoes, and white tights. This is just a giant quarter of a circle um, to make a big full circle cloak. Um, so this is on the fold and then you would cut two pieces and this is the front. So instead I'm actually going to do two folds, so I'm cutting one big circle and then I'm going to cut the front. So if you can see, this is already a fold up here and then it's laid out flat like this. So I'm going to fold this again. So there is two folds here and two um, folds here and then this is the very center of the circle. And if this is confusing, you can just cut two pieces on the fold and then do one seam. But I'm going to do this. And so if you don't want to get the pattern, you can basically just cut a giant circle. Now I'm taking my feather trim and I'm going to, each one is two yards. So I'm going to 
just alternate in between and have the feathers go all the way around these ones that have um, it's sewn into this fabric at the top. This one, this is um, like a feather boa. I'm actually just going to sew them on the front edge and around the bottom to kind of have that feather look. So I have pinned all of these layers of feathers on. The boas are out here at the end. So now I'm going to go around and sew each one. So pinning it on took a long time and sewing it, it's going to take a long time, but it's going to make a beautiful feather cape. Once you have all of your feathers sewn on, you can see it goes all the way around. The boa is down here at the bottom, so it just looks like a giant feather cape. You are going to take your bias binding. You can use white if you want. I chose gray um, because I had it and then it like won't stain so easily. So I'm going to cut two straight edges. I'm going to sew this um, side close and then I'm going to sew these onto this corner on the inside like this and that will become a little loop that if she wants to grab um, that end with her hand to like flap the wings then that is um, an easy way to do it. So I'm going to sew these on and then I'm going to take this piece which is a little bit long, but I'm gonna keep it long and I'm going to attach it to this neckline. I'm actually going to fold the ends around the neckline and sew that in place all the way around. I'm going to leave the two ends so that we can tie it on um, around my child's neck or you know you can have a cute little bow right there um, you can also do velcro or like a loop and a button but um, i like the idea of a tie because then it's adjustable for sizes so someone older or someone smaller i could just tie it tighter or looser Now that the neckline has been finished with bias tape and these two little um, loops are done, then the cape is finished and the next thing we are going to work on is the hat. So I have this white hat. I have cut out kind of like a white fur, almost like glasses, like that's going to sit behind the eyes to give it like that owl look Then I have yellow circles for the eyes and then the black pupils and then I have a black beak. I just cut it out by hand from felt, um, just kind of eyeballed it. It really is going to depend on the size of your hat for how big you need like the proportions to be. I also cut out two fur circles which I'm going to sew a basting stitch around and I'm going to gather it into um, pom-poms and I'm going to add two little pom-poms up here at the top of the hat. I'm just going to sew them on by hand. So 
So now I'm going to gather these bobbin threads. Turn this into a tiny pom-pom. Now I'm taking my thread. I'm finding this is, you see those threads, that's where the bottom of the pom-pom is. And I'm going to just hand stitch it onto this hat, one on each side. Once you have the face and the pom-poms done, the hat is done for the owl. Once you have the hat and the cape done, just pair it with a white dress, white tight, white shoes, or some sort of white outfit that you're gonna wear underneath, and your costume is finished. And that's how you make a DIY Hedwig or white owl costume. Um, if you really wanted to just do a regular owl or a crow or something, you could use different colored feathers. You could do a parrot, a flamingo, um, as long as you can find the trim of feathers in a different color. This was such a fun project for me to make. I loved making it. Please check out these playlists with DIY costume ideas and Halloween sewing projects. I can't wait to see all of the costumes that you make. Please share them with me on social media and I hope you have a wonderful day.